Hello, here I'll be showing you how to edit private member data through a public member function. You'll want to set the return type to void because you won't be returning any parameters to the thing that's calling it. So let's just name it edit data and give it two parameters for the two parameters that are in the C data class. And make them of type int because that is the type of both of the parameters. A and int b. In, this fu in the main body of the function, you'll be changing the values of mdata1 and mdata2 so that they match the values that you entered for the edit data fun pr function parameters. So it'll just be m underscore data1 equals a and m underscore data2 equals b. And because it's return type void, you just put return because you're going to be returning anything. All right, now that we have that set up, we have to make it so that you can edit the values down here in the main body function. Here I'm I've already set up an object, object 1 for this tutorial. So you want to declare two parameters for the edit so you can put it in the parameter list for the edit data. Make them of type int because that's the type of the parameters in the edit data. So int I don't know, A and INT B. And here you should ask the user to ask the user somehow to enter the values for A and B so you can edit the data in object one. So <coughs> the uh, so we're going to ask the user to enter something for uh, for uh, variable A. So let's see here. Please enter. All right, now we're going to take that value. So send A. And do the same thing for B. And we don't have to put end line because when you hit enter for the A, it automatically declares new line. Please enter another value. And we'll just make it of type sin B so you can edit B. All right, now to get to the editing of the private member data. You'll just use the void edit data in the main body. So you want to do obj j1 dot edit data. And what this will do is it will take a and b And change it to and change the m data one and the m data two to the values you entered for a and b. Now to display this, you'll have to declare two more functions to access the m data one and m data two, because you can't you can't even access them in the main body since they're private. So to do that, we'll just go up here and declare some new ones. So you want it to make a return type int because that's the type of data one. And we'll just declare it for data one. And what will happen here is that we there will be no entry parameters. In other words, void. You can type void or just leave it empty like that. And just so and just make it so it'll display m m data one. Now the reason this can access the mdata1 and the outside 
and outside can is because anything within the class, any function that you've described within the class, can access the private members. So, and you want to do the same thing for data two, if you wanted to split that. That is. And you can set up a site void also. Because you won't need any input parameters. Alright, now that we have those set up, we can we can show it that we can show the new values through using this, in case you wanted to put any math in the edit data function. So cow obj one and we'll want to make it for data one. Whoops. <laughs> data one. And you want to do the same thing for data two. Another thing you could do up here is you could return zero for both of these, but the thing is, is that zero and th and the data members that you put up there will both appear in the output. So what I'll do here to get around that is just make it return m data one. And do the same thing for M data two. Alright. Now just to make sure this works, we'll compile it. Hopefully without any errors. Oh, I got an error. Oh, I accidentally put three. Now, now it should work. <laughs> All right. Now, now we have to check that it works. And to show that it works, you just enter. I don't know. Put the new values: 36, 32. And as you can see, it worked because it displayed 36 and 32 correctly. And since this was my first tutorial, um, I was a little nervous. So forgive me for, you know, if it wasn't that good. But, and that's how you edit <laughs> private member data through a member function. Thank you.